What up, S fam? It's your boy Thurs Lynch back again with another mother freaking video. S fam, today is different, man. It's different. I had CQ. I got off CQ, I don't know what, it's nine right now. So 14 hours ago, I got off CQ. I've been chilling. I got 24 hours off. So that means I get to sleep overnight, get up, I come back, I go back to work tonight, y'all. Check this out. I woke up this morning as fam and I got up and I just came and just started doing this right here. It really feels like being a YouTuber is my business, just for today at least. So I don't know, I'm getting a little taste of what it could feel like, whatever the case may be. But would y'all imagine as fam, just getting up early in the morning, you get up, first thing you start doing, you brush your teeth, all that good stuff, and you start doing what it is you love most to do. It would be freaking amazing, man. But anyway, S fam, I'm trying to get into this freaking videos while I can. I got a little bit of time. Look, a lot of y'all, well, a few of y'all have been wanting me to react to Angry Cops. PETA fights the Marine Corps. I know I've been wanting to work towards this one. So, S super fam, super fam, check this out. I'm going to knock this video out today, but then I'm also going to knock out because y'all been requesting it so much. Y'all been wanting to see me react to Angry Cops, that worst uniform one. Which I don't know how I'm going to do on that one because I don't know. I like the old ACUs. We got the new ACUs now. So we're going to see what happens. But Super Fam, y'all going to have first access. So make sure pretty soon y'all go over underneath that community tab and y'all check and see Super Fam. I'm going to post it for y'all, all right? Yo, let's go ahead and get in this video, S Fam. Y'all stay focused and motivated. Get motivated up in this day one time. S Fam, stand up. S Fam, salute. We about to go ahead and knock it out right now, y'all. Let's go. Shout out to my sister-in-law, by the way, for hooking up the cool cup. Y'all see the cool cup? Y'all see that? My sister-in-law, y'all like it? I got another one getting ready to come pretty soon. If y'all like it, y'all let me know. Maybe we can talk about some things. Okay, right now, let's go. Why is it every time the military does something, some civilian organization has to stick their beak into the middle of it. Some group of people has their cross to bear already? and starts hand jamming letters to their senator, congressman, or whatever military post happens to be nearby. You're I feel like I watched this Airplanes already, Airplanes are disrupting the flight patterns of seagulls. Your explosives and artillery ranges are creating noise pollution in the middle of fucking Nebraska. Let me check. I feel like I've done this one already, man. Did I? Did I? This is weird. This is strange, bro. I feel like I've already freaking watched this video i know i haven't i know i haven't freaking done this did i already record it i couldn't have maybe i watched the very beginning of it man i know i couldn't have freaking watched this video already let's go we're gonna watch it anyway let's go that last one was real PETA, the people for the ethical treatment of animals hand jammed a letter to the commandant of the marine corps its article was headlined as Training or Animal Abuse Marines behead cobras and drink their blood Why am Chains I having such a brain fart today, S-Fam? I know I didn't watch this video Explosives and artillery ranges are creating noise pollution in the middle in the of middle fucking Nebraska. Nebraska Come on now, Or how man. eating animals in the middle of survival training is bad We don't need to do it, it's a no-no That last one was real Eating animals in the middle of survival training. Like, that's what it's about, man. It's all this reminds me of is when that dude Unison speaks or whatever. Last time Angry Cops reacted to freaking Unison, whatever that dude's name was, man. And he was mad because survival training, you have to live off the land. Let's go, man. PETA, the people for the ethical treatment of animals, hand jammed a letter to the Commandant of the Marine Corps. Its article was headlined as Training or Animal Abuse Marines behead cobras and drink their blood. How about training? Are full of fruits and other Marine nutritious Corps, edible plants. So why are the U.S. Marines beheading snakes, guzzling their blood, and calling it survival training? Is that a real question? It's how you live, bro. And it's ass bear grills. If you're all alone in a combat zone, life has got to suck. And you got to learn to embrace that suck. And part of That's one phrase that I haven't heard in the army in a while, man. The last time I heard somebody say it, 
I think they posted on Facebook. You have to embrace this. Like sometimes, sometimes being in the freaking army, being in the military freaking sucks. But in order for you to get through it, y'all got to stay freaking focused. Y'all got to stay motivated and embrace it, man. It's not going to last for freaking ever. It's not going to last for freaking ever. You deal with it at this time. You get through it and you drive on. You embrace it. That's it. Man, this sucks. At least we're freaking, hey, battle buddy, at least we're freaking doing this together. At least we got each other to freaking help each other out. You know what I'm saying? That's how you embrace the freaking suck. Let's go, man. That suck is going to be eating some things you never thought you were going to have to consume before. Or eating some things you thought you couldn't consume. Included in their Cobra Gold training, the U.S. Marines reportedly killed chickens with their bare hands. Oh, trust me. They've been choking chickens for a long time. <laughs> Well before this, and they are pros at it. Skin and eat live geckos, consume live scorpions and tarantulas, and decapitate cobras and drink their blood. The scenes are almost frat party-esque, with some marines celebrating and cheering one another on. Others apparently whipped out their phones and recorded the killings. So now that part there, how the way that they're the way that they have right there, the pictures and stuff, I can understand Peter's argument. But you, it's not about what they're doing in training, in survival training. Maybe these pictures may not totally be appropriate, how they're all gathered around and drinking the blood or whatever. Maybe that's not totally appropriate. But this is how the Marines are freaking embracing the sup. You know what I'm saying? Do you think it tastes like freaking candy and sugar and stuff? What do you think? It's freaking, it's red Kool-Aid coming out of, what do you think it is? They're embracing the suck. Let's go, man. See, look at that. You already hit on the topic that I was touching on. They're going to learn how to eat things they would never have thought they could eat before. And then learn how to cook them. There you go. Or eat them raw. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time a Marine went raw. In what Taiwan. is he doing, oh bro? so many Thai hooker jokes in this. Normally, you oh wouldn't think goodness. that you could have eaten any of those animals I just listed off. But this training shows you that not only can you eat them, but it teaches you how to properly go through the process of actually preparing that game or insect or lizard cobra same Put difference weird gross animal same difference there. how else are you going to demonstrate that snake blood is safe to drink and that it can rehydrate you when you don't have ample sources of hydration now i didn't know that i did not know that the snake blood can help to rehydrate you See. This is why Peter can't get upset about. Look what you're they're teaching Peter. Let's go, man. We're just gonna throw up a PowerPoint slide and say, take my word for it. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can even cut the head off of a cobra and drink its blood, Marine. I don't believe you. Just take my word. Take my word. No, prove it. I can't. Peter won't let me. <laughs> prove it. Prove it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you? I, I, I said Peter won't let me. You cut off the head. You drink it. You pussy. Where did you find a snake? There is no better way for you to demonstrate that. This is a viable option of sustenance than to actually do it. Lop that head off there you and go. have a bunch of weirded out Marines all jazzed up about drinking some blood. Of course they got their phones out. Yes, they're cheering. This is some weird shit. You gotta pump your buddy up if he's gonna drink some blood. There you go. This isn't some blood orgy where they're all just stroking <laughs> it out inside of the snake skin to try and make some new boots. Why these guys face are like, yeah, so Johnson, you swallow that fucking blood, do it. Oh, you are a man. You can survive. Look how red his face is, bro. And that's my that's one of my main things about this is one of my main things about Angry Cops. You know he freaking loves doing these videos, man. And I love freaking watching him, bro. Look how red his face is, bro. <laughs> the choker. Choker, they've been choking chickens for a long time. This dude is freaking funny. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Fight through anything. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Somebody give me a bow and knife. I'm gonna stab everything in front of me. Why do you think there's an entire website dedicated to the people of Walmart? We enjoy looking at shit we don't see every day. Weird <laughs> shit. Things that would boggle the mind of civilians. However, I will say the dude on the far right looks like he's enjoying himself. Look at him. Look at him. He's like. Uh. <laughs> oh, snap, bro. Wow, that's, and they just caught the picture at that time, that's it. That's that's why, bro, we just gotta watch. And I can see why I've had so many issues with what I'm posting and stuff like that. We just gotta watch what, what we're portraying, how we're portraying it. <laughs> All right, man, let's go, let's go. A little too, too much. much. 
I would not want to be in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> for any group photo. The article continues, no one needed to oh, die man. for U.S. and Thai forces to strengthen their alliance. No one died. No person died. Oh, PETA. Is this this stupid thing where you're like, animals are people too? Can't you just protect the pretty smart ones like the dolphins and kitty cats and let us consume the chickens and snakes, and snakes and, and stuff. gopher asses or whatever we need to survive on? Speaking of which, I went on a hike with my battle, but with one of my good buddies. Uh, he's also a YouTuber. His name is on YouTube, Half Right Face Productions. This, me and him had the strangest talk on this freaking hike, bro. We're talking about beavers and how the smell of a beaver's butt, the little stuff in the beaver's butt is used to make vanilla extract. It was the weirdest freaking conversation. I just feel like I throwing some random stuff out. Anyway, as fam, I don't know. We gonna keep it moving, man. Yes, animals need to die. They have to die. And let me tell you why, PETA. Because survival isn't pretty. It's basic. It's uncomfortable and it is desperate. And go. in order to understand that desperation, you gotta get out there and be, be in it. In it. You need you to be in it. Straight to up. taste the desperation so you can appreciate it when it happens and understand the importance of the training that you're going through. I Peter totally Brad agree. said in the I past totally they've been able to remove animals from survival training. And I don't know who the fuck was in charge back then. But you need to get your fucking head rearranged. Because apparently in 2011, the Marines Mountain Warfare School was like, oh, you know what? PETA's upset. We don't need to kill chickens or rabbits anymore or teach them how to skin things. Because, you know, in the cold, cold mountains, there's tons of rutabaga and sweet potatoes and whatever. What kind of training? Them. I can understand it's like survival training, but with just some freaking fruits and vegetables and stuff but it's not really teaching you how to hunt and i think that would be something to to appreciate within the training i don't know how to hunt and i would love to know how to hunt i don't have to go through that to freaking do it but you know it is what it is man keeping it moving as fam let's go fucking hares there's arctic hares jumping around or wolves or geese or goats or sheep or other bullshit but when it's cold in the mountains, I'm pretty sure that that is a wasteland of snow and nothing to eat. But hey, so what are you trapping, gonna do? skinning, and gutting an animal. The important things you might want then, we'll get rid of because PETA's upset. That don't make no PETA's, sense, bro. There's thousands of PETA members in the military, right? Of course. That's why we have vegetarian memories. Go fuck myself. Really? Listen to yeah. this. You know Sears specialists are already using virtual reality to prepare Air Force pilots for worst case scenarios. And... Interactive video games that have food procurement components are now on the market. We're just gonna go buy Red Dead Redemption 2 and just and start cook. hooking up some cloverleaf banana and shenanigans. Cook on there, right? And now we're okay. That's our SEER <laughs> training. That's how you That's learn how to do it, bro. The most effective combat fighting force in the goodness. world Come is on, gonna be man. ready to go and get out of Dodge by playing some video game. How high are you? I can I understand the concept of it, but you can't stop there with it, bro. You can't stop there. Maybe the video gaming and all that should okay. This is the concept of how to do it. Now that we've taught you the fundamentals by the book, you're gonna go in a field environment and actually execute the trick. See, and this is what Peter's arguing for. Let's stop the training. Let's stop the real life field training. We do the video game, but let the video game only be okay. Come on, bro. That's not how it's gonna freaking go down. And I feel, I kind of feel sorry for the Air Force because the only thing they can really do in a field environment, you're not gonna go in a field environment in the Air Force and practice with freaking enemy fighters shooting at you and stuff like that. The only way to do that is really is simulated. So they gotta do the best they can do and that simulation has to be as realistic as possible. Keep it moving, S fam. You just get back from a smoke session with Joe Rogan? There's a call to action in the last paragraph of the article where PETA is asking that we join together and let the Department of Justice know that we don't want there to be any medical testing or training on goats or pigs anymore. And if you're unaware of what they're talking about, let me fill you in. But what if they're already dead, community, bro? Those in medical fields are able to work on goats See, and pigs crazy. that are alive, sedated, 
but alive oh. in order to sharpen their medical skills. I've had friends that have gone through said training and they have stated it was the most realistic and, see, and the best training about. they have ever received in their military careers. One of them stated that when they were there looking at the pig just all just sitting there knocked out unconscious from all the meds, the instructor came in and said, all right, let's fix this pig and just stabbed it. Just stabbed the fucking pig on the table and he's like all right cool use your you gotta medical training fix they gave it, you in order go to fix that stab it. wound to its lung suck a chest wound let's yep, go. Go. go they're like holy shit okay zip 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 and they fix the fucking exactly. pig exactly severed arteries missing limbs injecting adrenaline to restart your heart these are Most the things realistic they stuff, did to bro. these animals in order realistic. to fight themselves for the battlefield and that is by far the most realistic yeah you freaking you can go bro to verify whether or not you are combat effective meet me halfway Peter. give me a better more realistic option than those pigs and goats that our soldiers, airmen, and seamen can be prepared for the combat injuries they're going to see overseas. What are they going to do? Don't Use hear people? Games. People. This will is be the next Saturday thing. night with your family playing Operation. Oh, yes. True story. Listen. I had a couple friends and pre mobilization, they went to go train with some of the 18 Deltas, the Special Forces medical personnel, and they had some pigs there, and they stabbed them up and cut off their legs and, like, quick clotted their shit, and it was. Fucking fantastic. My medical buddy said it was the best training he's ever been on. And at the end, they were cracking jokes with the instructor saying, hey, maybe we can like throw this pig on a barbecue and have some good to eat, you know? Hey, <laughs> And the instructor had a little giggle at it. And his response was something to the effect of this. <clears throat> nah, man, you don't wanna eat one of those things. They got so much medical crap going through their muscles and their bloodstream that if you decided to eat one of those, you'd either be extremely high or horribly poisoned, which is a chance some people might be willing to take. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, the instructor told him to not do that. You know what I'm saying? Peter's over here making this freaking argument when the instructor is saying, no, don't, don't cook it up and eat it. You know what I'm saying? It's not always that bad, bro. But yes, my, this is my thing about the whole thing. That's the most freaking realistic training you can get. Being out in the field, actually with the live stuff. What other way can you do it? That's my question. What other way can you do it? Who knows? But anyway, S fam, I want to get in here and get in and one the early one, right? I'm getting ready to knock out the Marine. No, not the Marine Corps. The Ar the Angry Cops reacted to the Army's worst uniform, whichever that one is. I'm getting ready to go ahead and react to that one too. So like I said, Super Fam, y'all go check that one out in the community chat. Y'all got it? I'm out of here. S Fam, stand up. Stay focused and motivated. Get motivated up in this day one time. Deuces. I'm going to holler at y'all.